Hey everyone, it is Tom here, AKA Marketplace Maverick, and I bought this bin today from a local seller. Uh, I put a in search of ad out on Marketplace, and I got a few bites. So this one here cost me 200 bucks. Uh, we'll get right into it and kind of see what it all is. So I got a little bit of a glimpse into what it was uh, from his pictures, but I didn't get to see everything. So you guys will kind of see uh, some of the stuff maybe I didn't. So here we go. Just kind of show you here it's a lot in there so there's quite a bit of sega genesis so we've got a john madden football and it's got the manual in there the cartridge looks pretty clean sports talk baseball uh, again a manual there he said there's only like one that doesn't have a manual uh, football game here jurassic park got the manual all looks pretty clean X-Men, the manual there, very clean. World Series Baseball. What else? Mortal Kombat. This one's the only one without a manual so far. So a few Sega Genesis there. There's a console in here as well, but it's a little bit buried. Uh, next, we got Tony Hawk Pro Skater. That looks like it's in there. Now this isn't actually Metal Gear, it's the case for it, but he said there's a few games uh, that might be in there. So Rally Cross, a Test Drive, just making sure nothing's underneath there. And then Star Wars Episode uh, One Jedi Power Battles there for the PlayStation. So a few loose discs, a couple more Sega Genesis, a hockey game here, PGA Tour, Again with the manual. I like that Skitchen. So it looks like it's got all the different mailers in there as well. It's always good to see. International Soccer. Got the manual there. Quite a bit of Sega Genesis. One more here, Road Rash. Get the manual. A Star Wars Dark Forces. Uh, but not with it in there. So this is uh, VP uh, Vanishing Point for Sega Dreamcast. This one unfortunately is not Contra. Uh, he showed me that it is Castlevania Symphony of the Night. So actually a really, really nice loose disc there. Oh boy. Crash Bandicoot, hopefully that still works. Uh, Bushido Blade, so another nice one there. Randomly, we have Mike Tyson's Punch-Out for NES. This is like a $30 plus dollar game by itself. A Dreamcast, Sony, or Sonic Adventure. Uh, right in there, that's the right game. So I'm kind of separating them off to the side so I can work with them here. So Resident Evil 3, Nemesis, we've got it in there for the Dreamcast. Tony Hawk Pro Skater for Dreamcast this time around. And it is in there. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. Right there. Uh, Dave Mira, BMX, freestyle. Oh boy. Can replace that if we need to. Sega Smash Pack, right there. And the web browser. So, nothing too special there for the Dreamcast. All right, and then we actually have the Dreamcast here. No CDs in there, we'll test that a little bit later. We've got the Smoke Gray uh, Sega Dreamcast controller. This one's a little bit more valuable. And we have our regular white. And then the Dreamcast uh, memory card, I believe. All right, next we've got a Super Nintendo. Looks like it's got some ink or something on top of there, but we should be able to clean that up. Cosmetically, I mean, there's a little chip right here in the corner. Um, but everything else seems to be okay. That's pretty common for Super Nintendos. And then we do have our Sega Genesis right here. This is gonna be the, let's see. You guys can kind of look at that for the model. So it looks pretty clean overall. I know these can be a little bit fragile. So hopefully it works and I'm not sure how to fix those. Two Super Nintendo controllers. 
the dog bone uh, PlayStation controller, the original one. The power cords kind of intertwined. Uh, Sega Genesis controllers right here. And some more power cords all right here, so we'll match those together. And lastly, we're gonna have the Super Nintendo. So this is Pit Fighter. Super Off-Road is a good one. Tournament Fighters, Ninja Turtles. We've got uh, Super Double Dragon, Donkey Kong Country, NBA Jam, and lastly, Super Mario All-Stars. So I managed to get all of this for 200 bucks locally. I think it's a pretty good deal overall. Uh, hopefully the Sega Genesis will cover it. It's just hard to sell, uh, and the rest should be profit. So pretty happy overall, and I got a free bucket with it. So follow me, subscribe for some more. I've got plenty of uh, different videos of me and my local finds as well as what I find on Marketplace. So thanks for joining. See you in the next one.